Most Reverend Lawrence Sidney Nicasio was born on February 5, September 5, 1956, and came from a Garifuna family. He attended St. Augustine High School in his own hometown of Dangriga and graduated from Belize Teachers College in Belize City. Father Lawrence, or before Mr. Lawrence, Nicasio, then taught at various schools and was appointed director of Catholic schools in the Toledo district. On the 16th of June, 1989, he was ordained to the priesthood. He was the vicar in Belmopan for 13 years, from 1991 to 2004, and pastor in Orange Walk, and then pastor of two suburban churches in Belize City. St. Ignatius from 2005 to 2008, and St. John Vianney, 2008 to 2013. He has touched so many lives. He was one of the, I was one of the last two priests that he ordained uh, before he passed away. And uh, so many stories that I have about him forgetting to close his chicken coop when he told me to take care of his chickens. Um, but one of the memories that really touched me, and this is coming uh, towards the end of his life, uh, I was invited by him to come to St. Louis and to take care of him for his surgeries. Um, and I remember the night I got into St. Louis, it was almost uh, towards the middle of the night. I spent so many time trying to find him in this big Mercy Hospital. But I found him, and he was waiting for me. He was just coming out from the anesthesia. And he, uh, when I entered the room, he was uh, just about getting back. And uh, after he was able to be conscious, he said, Emmanuel, is that you? I said, Bishop, it's me. I'm here to take care of you. And then he went to sleep, and I sat on the couch. You know, hospital rooms are very cold. Um, like it was kind of dim, the, the room was dim, and all of a sudden, later that night, I felt a ball of something fell over me, and I got scared. I was like, what's happening to Bishop? But Bishop had removed one of his blankets that he was covered with, and he had made a ball with it, and he threw it over to me and said, <laughs> Emmanuel, I, I don't want you to be cold the night. And this was Bishop Larry Nicasio. This was his life his willingness to give himself, himself for others. Oh,